So guys, I would like to show you a quick way how you can use the Grafana Cloud for free to monitor your Raspberry Pi. This can work also with the other Linux server, but uh, let's stick to Raspberry for now. First thing you need to do is go to the Grafana Cloud and create your account. I already have one created so I can just log in use, using my Google account and I need to create a stack. If you will do this for the first time you will need to do pretty much similar things using the wizard which is going to be offered to you. So let's prepare my stack and now I can go to the Grafana instance where I will be able to follow the wizard and to register my Raspberry Pi so this is the first screen in Grafana and here I need to choose the Linux server and click on install integration. Raspberry Pi is based on Debian so I will keep this OS as default and I just need to change the architecture to ARM version 7 and I will copy and paste the command to my Raspberry Pi. This will install the necessary packages with the Grafana agent and it will also configure it properly. So right after the installation, the Grafana agent is going to send the data to the Grafana cloud. Uh, but I would like to also do some more changes and collect a few more stats. So here on my blog, I described a few of the steps, including the screenshots. And after I will finish with the basic uh, Grafana agent installation, I will also install the black box exporter and change the Grafana agent a little bit. So now it was successfully installed. So what I will do is I will back up the current Grafana agent configuration file. And I will copy and paste the example from my work. Including the Grafana agent configuration which I will need to change a little bit. The reason why I'm installing the black box exporter is that I would like to see also the stats um, of, uh, and the latency of the traffic when I'm reaching some websites like Google or others. So that may be handy as well. This is optional, you don't need to do that, but I'm doing it on, on my Raspberry Pi as well. So the black box exporter was installed successfully. Then I will change the Grafana agent configuration and I will need to get the necessary Login credential from the old configuration file. So we have a few fields which needs to be changed for password and also for the username. There should be one 
one more. And the username in Loki is unique. Comparing to the other values. So now I have my Grafana agent configuration completed and now I also need to change the web box, export the configuration. This is not necessary because if you have a proper configured uh, networking with IPv6 or your ISP supporting that, then it will work directly. I had some issues so I have to always use the preferred IP protocol version Four. So it means uh, Raspberry Pi is now sending the necessary data to the Grafana cloud and if I will go to the uh, Grafana I should click on test integration and finish the installation and I should see that it was successfully collecting the data here you can put your email address if you want and the Grafana cloud can also send you the alerts which is handy as well. So now I need to add a few more dashboards to the Grafana to actually see the, the data. This will take some time and basically all, the only thing you need to do is uh, just to create on, uh, click on plus button and import. Here you put the number and the last important part is that you need to select the proper Prometheus data source. So let me do it for all of these dashboards or at least for a few of them. Okay, uh, I'll let the Grafana to collect some data. So we sh I should be able at least to see some more details in the graphs. So here's for example the node exporter and the details about my Raspberry Pi instance. If I go to the other dashboards. So again, I should see some data here related to the Bubble Box exporter. And the last one, or at least here, I should be able to see the ICMP or ping stats which can also give me some details about my connection and here are some details about the processes which are running on my Raspberry Pi and those processes were mentioned in the configuration you should definitely change them to whatever you want. And here is the last important part in Grafana. If you click to the Explorer tab, you can select here the Loki data source. 
and here you can see the logs which were streamed from Raspberry Pi to the Grafana Cloud and you can create some queries if you are interested in that. So that's also really handy. So that's pretty much all uh, what I want to show you, how you can use the Grafana Cloud and Raspberry Pi to allow the monitoring for free.